I remember the reaction at the time. What's wrong with this college coach crazy person? Herschel could be on his way to the Super Bowl, while the Cowboys could be on their way to the toilet bowl. But he was the visionary who saw very clearly the draft picks are where I'll find value. And people say, well, you know, that was a jump start. But back then, the Los Angeles Rams, they had a similar type deal with Eric Dickerson when they traded him. The key is not getting the picks. The key is picking good players with the picks. To build that into the dynasty that it was, his eye for talent was a huge difference, and it really changed the course of that organization. If you went through the year virtually injury-free and did not make the playoffs, would that be a crushing blow? It won't happen. We, you know, we'll be in the playoffs. It wasn't a minute that I was around him in the two years that I played for him that I and everyone on our football team didn't know who the head coach was. You know, I, I think there's a misconception about football. People think that football is for tough guys. You know, tough guys. Bull <laughs> Football rewards the guys that are in great condition. That's when you have fun. When you're kicking somebody's ass and they're sucking for win. There was a great coach one time says, Fatigue makes cowards of us all. What if I walked up to you and said, you're a coward. You're a coward. You wouldn't like it, would you? But that's the reality of it. When you're tired, you make mistakes, you don't do what's right, and your will to win all of a sudden starts to waver just a little bit. You get tired and all of a sudden you don't have that same fight. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. All of us, me included. I guarantee you, when I was on that damn TV show and I hadn't had any sleep and I hadn't had any food and bugs are biting on my ass, I wasn't a big tough guy. I'm saying, what the hell am I doing here? Fatigue makes cowards of us all. If you're in great shape, if you can run like a deer, at the end of the ball game, you're gonna be smiling and having fun. And let me tell you something, guys. This is gonna be the greatest time of your life. I used to sit in this same ass room. I'd look at the schedule and I'd say, God, oh, I can't wait till Oklahoma comes in here. I can't wait till Florida comes in here. I wanna kick their ass. And that's what you should feel. This is why you came to Miami. That's why you wanted to be a hurricane. But you can only do it if you're in great shape and if you're not sucking for win at the end of the game. And when you look across the way and that guy is hanging down, he is a coward. He's a coward because he's tired. Don't be tired. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Super Bowl 27. I promise you, he's a seer. That Super Bowl, they, he said, listen, Buffalo's good. We're going to have a fight. We're going to have a fight through that first quarter, but we'll get them, and then they'll start turning the ball over, and we'll pour it on. And when you're seeing it, and it starts working, you say, oh, my God. Buffalo. They're a sloppy team. They're talented, but they're sloppy. They turn it over. That's why we're going to win. What a ride it's been. Jimmy Johnson's taking his team from the absolute worst to the absolute best in four years. And Dallas, you're coming. 
Cowboys are the champions. <laughs> Come in. Come in. <laughs>